I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on permutation and combinations. Here is an excellent question from one of our subscribers. So let me thank her for her contribution. And I hope many of you will benefit from the solution of this question. How many four letter words can be formed from the letters in the word mathematics? Now, this is a very complicated question. Let us see how to solve it. So, we are working with the word mathematics. Let me rewrite this. M A T H E M A T I C S. So, whenever you are given a word, first thing is to count the total number of letters in it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we have in all 11 letters how many of each kind that is the second m so how many m's do we have we have two m's a how many a's two a's d how many t's two t's h so we have just one h and then we have one e uh, we have already counted M and A, so T, we have only, oh, we have already taken T, right? So, I'll make it I, okay. We have I, C, and S. So, these are the letters which make the word mathematics. So, 2 to 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we have done our counting. We know there are 11 letters with which we have to work. And four letters together, four letters at a time. Right? So we have to make words with four letters. That is what we are looking for. One, two, three, four. Now when you look into such questions, you have to break them down into cases. What could be our cases? We say case one. Case one is all single letters, no repetition. Okay, so case one is all single letters. So if we have all single letters, then the combinations we can have is from is from M, A, T, H, E, I, C, and S. Correct. We are avoiding all repetition. Then think as if. In a basket, we have all these letters. How many of these are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these 8 can fill up the 4 spaces. So you get this combination. So if we are working in case 1, where only single letters are being considered, in that case, we have in our basket these eight letters and we have to pick only four of them right you could choose eight once you have taken that away then seven six and five eight p four is what you get correct so this you can calculate or you can do it even otherwise so eight p four is equal to a big number sixteen eighty 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. Now let's do case 2. Now in this case, we could have some doubles, right? So we have one double. So one double means we could either take M as a double, we could take A as a double or T as a double, right? So one double. So let's look into this combination of double and count how many we can have. So when we say one double, in that case, we could have what combination? Let's choose M, right? So we could have any three of these, right? So we could have either M, A or T. So we could have either M or we could have A or we could have T. So there are three which could have as a double, right? Now, if we take M as a double, in that case, how many other letters are there? Correct. Okay. So, 
in all how many other so one two three four five six seven so we have in all other letters as seven i mean if i take away m we have a d h e i c and s correct these seven letters perfect so what are what can we do with this so first thing is we have to fill in m for sure in it which is a double right so there are two m's and they can be filled up in four places so we have 4 p2 and we need to divide this by 2 factorial since both m's are same right so if i write m here and there and the other m flip it so those are duplicated words so we'll divide by 2 and then once we fill in these two places, any two places for that matter, we are left with only two other places to fill, right? So, and how many letters? Seven of them. So that is 7P2. Perfect. And all this can be done with M, A or T. So we have three of these. So we could do the same process with M's. We could do the same thing with A's and with T's. So we'll multiply this by 3. So we get these many combinations. Perfect. So, so that gives you the number as 4P2 times 7P2. Sorry. Uh, Let's write again 7p2 times 3 divide by 2. Okay, so that gives you a number as 756. Right. Now, what else can we do? Well, we have four letters, right? So we could also go for two doubles. So we could also go for two doubles, right? So if I'm going for two doubles, we will call this as case three. So we get two doubles. So for two doubles, we could have combination of uh, either we could have these two, right? Or we could have these two. Or we could have these two. Okay. So, so there are six combinations we could to have two doubles. So we could take M and A, for example, making it two doubles. So if I choose M, then I have a combination with two P. We ha we are having two M's. And we have to place both of them. And there are four places. So we have 4P2. Since both these amps are duplicated, divided by 2 factorial, correct? With M and A, two doubles, we could get 4P2 by 2 factorial. Now remember, we have the combinations with M A we could also do with M and T and we can also do the same with A and T. So there are three ways in which this could be done. So that becomes the total number of ways in which we could have two doubles for arranging letters in mathematics. Good. So let's figure out how much is this. So 4P2 so we have 4 shift P2 times 3 divided by 2 equals to 18. So there are 18 such combinations. So adding them all gives us total number of words which can be formed, total letter, 4 letter words which can be formed. So the answer will be equal to 1680 plus 756 plus 18 correct let's do this 1680 plus 756 plus 18 equals to 
2454 correct so that is how using permutations you could answer this question well my suggestion is you could also try solving this question using combinations right so that would be interesting but i hope you understand how we could actually find four letter words from the given word mathematics so you need to split it into cases to solve such questions we do not have three letters in it otherwise we could have more cases perfect so that is how it should be done i hope that helps feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great share my videos with your friends thank you and all the best